Howdy Cowdy, weekly walkabout time at the Collector. I've been bloody busy again, heaps of cool stuff in the auction this week. Really nice signed glass paperweights, lovely gold chains, a beautiful, really cool little Hona harmonica, like a miniature one with a little Hona um, gilt ribbon attached to it, like a little brooch thing. Lovely little sort of Art Nouveau gold pearl garnet, I'm guessing. Uh, nice little necklace with the pendant. Over the back is one of Oscar's cubes. It's a great little thing. Pretty sure that's what it is. Silver fork and spoon set in the case. More nice costume jewellery. Gent Seiko moon face watch. Some nice little Japanese items. Little Netskis and stuff. Carved bone. This is a really nice WMF little christening set there in a box. Other bits that we've got. Some nice chairs, auto trolleys. Another nice little auto trolley here. A little lead light one. This cute little Victorian shelf, little portable gramophone, and another one, and a cool little gramophone cabinet that someone's just converted into a little sort of cupboard. Uh, console radio is pretty cool, and a nice little oak arts and crafts book stand. It's an interesting metal. Um, uh, I think it's for um, being in Hiroshima or something like that after the Second World War. It's a metal for nuclear. Um, surface or something like that. Some coins and medallions, a little lot of blokey gear, bottle opener's cool, more sort of gent stuff, watches and gear, china, koala, kangaroo fur muff, sunglasses and sort of watches, little Mickey Mouse watching amongst there, coins and medallions, big lot of pre-decimal stamps, guitar amps, ladies clothes, Pretty cool cowboy boots with a pretty cool suede jacket and a little driving hat. Some more good sort of retro men's shirts and blazers and coats. Big box of bad 70s sort of afro wigs and stuff. Uh, so we got keyboards, train gear, audio, sort of householdy type stuff, pottery, nice sort of 70s amber glass and a little retro clock. It's a cool lot with the tutu in amongst here and some other sort of ballet gear and glow mesh stuff. Some sort of stylish mid-century cutlery. BMX book and some ice skates and roller skates. Loki gear again, big group lot. Lamps, good box of CDs. Some good retro sort of kitchen alia. Big lot of tools. Suitcase with all sorts of gear in it. Looks like some blue and white TG green over the back. A little box of goodies, photographic enlarger. I guess we got a nice little pine washstand there with all the gear to go with it and a nice little separate mirror. Kind of like this big 1970s sort of industrial desk. Some horns. Big sort of posters out of old uh, supermarkets and stuff. Smoke machine. What else have we got? Barber gear. A couple of big old lockers are pretty cool. Uh, big group, lots of stuff down the back. Boxes of magazines and clothing. Some cool umbrellas. Little ladies toucan one. Original Weg, I think, of Don Scott. There you go. And a little caricature as well of Fiorente. Pretty China. A lot of records and rock and roll. Some old original ABBA posters and stuff over the back. Yeah, so we've got a nice big lot of toys, die casts and Barbie. Little pot cupboards, cute. Old soft drink bottles and stuff. More stamps. All the Ryobi gear. Some cool BMX handlebars, which are a bit unusual. Toys. Stereo gear. Filing drawers, pretty cool off the end there. Big CUB bar mirrors, cool. I kind of like this big oil painting. Signed F. Batty. It's a copy of David Davies' A Hot Day. Good thing. Some Lego Duplo little shop display sort of sets. Thorin's turntable's a ripper. I think it's going to be the What's It Worth this week. Cutlery and a clock. Drawers. Another good little record player here. A little HMV. What is it? Stereophonic. What else have we got? Some good sort of Japanese and German porcelain, retro, cut crystal, nice big lot. Japanese items with a gong. More glass and china and stuff there. 
Another nice group lot. Boats and stuff down the bottom. A cake tin, a biscuit tin, and a uh, Cadbury Bourneville cocoa egg mould, and an industrial staple gun. It's my favourite lot of the sale. What else have we got? Records, costume jewellery, plastic model kit, guns and pistols, die cast toys, a little group lot of mixed sort of stuff up the top, Japanese and other gear. Some nice paintings and gear this week actually. It's a Kendone screen print fran, fran Japani. These are nice oil paintings by N.H. Ferguson. I can't find out anything about the artist, but they're well painted. This is a Colin Urine oil there, of a egret in flight. Donald Fraser, typical little beach scene. This is a nice little watercolour American thing. Um, early Gulls, Early Morning Nantucket, it's called. Signed with a monogram lower right, but it looks to be RM. Can't find out much at all, which is a bit of a shame. Cecil Keeley oil painting's a nice thing. It's an architect, I think he designed the National Gallery or something like that. It's a nice little oil, Faulkner Park 1932. Joyce Plant oil's nice, real typical sort of 1970s. Little Ray Woods etchings, a ripper as well. I like his stuff. What else have we got? A uh, little Rosalie Hall watercolour of the poppies is quite cute. Some other nice little things as well, I think, coming up later on. Little retro tea sets, nice little radio, some carved horn and timber and sort of jadeite stuff in that little box. The retro Nellyware set's cool, oriental, some horse racing stuff, more toys, English China, what else have we got? Daddy Cool, good lot of glass, nice big costume jewellery lot, radios, jadeite, this is all mid-century modern crystal. There you go, a little diorama of 1879 Rourke's Drift South Wales Borderers, fighting the Zulus it looks like. Uh, some good matchbox die casts, good bits of Victorian glass. This is a nice little box of Majorette die casts. Australian National Railways Loco passenger carriage. This little watercolour there of a dancing couple. Uh, so we got what like this oil painting of the USS Healy by Edward Thornton. Really nice thing. 70s gear, Royal Albert, Ryobi angle grinder that works, crystal, um, Murano style vase, Japanese, nice amber glass, more Croft and Shelley and stuff, more Royal Albert, more cut crystal, nice Danish Hans Carla, little jug there and a nice English jardinier, Japanese, Italian and other glass. Japanese stuff, got a little lot of records, some cool phones, also a lot of books. Uh, there's some more good little bits and bobs there. A little spin around tin toys a ripper. A little magnetic tin toys are cool. What else have we got? More little toys, pocket radios, micro models, uh, car hoist, a little trench art shell vase, a little jumping zebra with some other toys. Rainham. Jackware, this is English Draft Horse, nice bit of glass, cool book, Tiffany, a nice big West German handled vase as well. What else have we got? Some great little lot of ephemera. 1928 29 Treasure Ship FBO Pictures Corporation. They've got all the sort of posters for the movies that no one or I don't think you've ever seen them. I don't know if these ever actually even got made. But it's a pretty amazing book, all sort of full page colour. Posters of the movies, Mickey Maguire comedies. Like this is stuff you've just never heard of, but really nice stuff. Some other books in amongst this group lot as well. German sort of stuff. Australian Art Training Institute. Nice lot of books. Barbie's pool party set looks to be complete. Carnival glass, ebony carved, Silvac heifer lump. What else have we got? Sweet Acres tin, carnival glass, Victorian jug over the back. Eric Jucket two bits. Nice green glass, the Lovett's vase over the back, just nice and simple and understated. More green glass, nice bit of American, I think elegant glass, with a nice white sort of ceramic shoulder and sun pot over the back. They're interesting little bits of glass there, hand blown with a sort of snake curled around the top. And down the bottom, what do we got? Some little Aboriginal artifacts, 
New Zealand carved pieces and the New Zealand lamp base is a bit interesting. Lovely Art Deco Diana Fire tool set. Uh, what have we got? Royal Albert and I think Royal Winton. This is a nice little Claris Cliff set. Nice bit of West German, bit unusual. Oriental. Nice Victorian glass. Grim Wade's brownies bits. Got some really nice bits of glass and stuff. Nice little vase with a twist through it. More carnival. A couple of brass cobras. Uranium, uranium and manganese. So they, all those bits of glass glow under a UV light. Israeli silver little chalice or cup that's been restored. Some lovely bits of glass here. Murano. The figure there is Peking glass. About sort of about 1800 give or take. She's lovely Kuan Yin. Another Italian glass. Signed Australian. Another signed Australian bit. Got the Remude pot over the back. Some more Cobras. You've got a Chaparis bronze at the top, which is from a, from the, a, from a foundry. It's got the foundry mark on the back, rather than being one of the Chinese ones. Another nice bit of signed glass. Pauline Delaney, I think. Campbell. More nice Australian. That's Murano. A little yellow one over the back. There's uranium glass, Victorian. Lovely big platter as well. There's heaps of nice stuff in the sale this week, guys. I've rambled on long enough. Hopefully we'll see you on Thursday night. Be good.